war. Uh, because as I said, you, you, you keep having to get your hair dyed uh, uh, time after time after time. So uh, they finally got me a wig. <laughs> and this was, uh, it's not looking her best. I don't, I don't think either one of us have held up very well over the years. Oh, I, I, I don't think that's true. Anyway, we better quickly just answer some questions that okay. uh, Back in the people box. have uh, written. Do you still keep in touch with any other members of the cast? No, no, we don't keep in touch socially. Uh, if we meet professionally to work uh, or at a convention, but uh, it's not for any design because we all got along extremely right. well. But it's just it's just the way things work out. We don't keep in touch. So Paul Foster, you don't see, or you don't know what he's up to at the moment. Last I heard about Paul, he was in America, doing very well. He was uh, doing some writing, and uh, I see him in, uh, from time to time on a. Uh, some kind of a program imported from America. I'll see oh, Michael nice. Billington, you know. He's there. Right. Yeah. Um, is Ed Bish is Ed Straker like Ed Bishop in real life? Do you heroically save the world every day of your life? Of course I do, Janet. <laughs> every single day. You should be in bed. <laughs> That's Janet Newbury. Good morning, Janet. Uh, question for Ed. Why was only one series of UFO made? Well, I think we've actually answered that one, haven't we? Um, your first your first part with ITC, I, I suppose that was Captain Blue, wasn't it? That would be, yes, in the uh, Captain Scarlet and the Mistron series. Now, Gary. here's here's an interesting question. Who was the Harlington in the Harlington Straker Film Studios? That is one of those facts like uh, the lost city of Atlantis, of which there is no answer. Because oh, wow. nobody knows. I think ha Harlington was plucked out of the uh, phone book by, <sighs> by Tony Barwick, and uh, I think that's all the story there is to it. There is no... Well, I think Ac actually Michael Billington's character was called Paul Foster because our production manager was Norman Foster and he more or less wanted his, and his name. And he wanted his surname. Well, 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 you learn the inside facts here, don't you? You get the scoop here. But uh, Harlington, I don't know. I mean, there was no. Um, well, that's upset, Deep Dave. Secret about that. That's upset, Dave Dennison. Sorry uh, about that, Dave. And also, just just one last. Oh, two things actually. Alan Bishop of Portsmouth wants to know why the left-hand drive cars always drive on the right-hand side of the road when it was made for showing in Britain. Well, thanks for calling in with that question, Alan. No relation. Well, we never know. But I can't work out the, the left hand, the right hand. We're, uh, I don't remember what side we drove on. We drove, but, but whatever it was, it was aimed at the American market, and we, we aimed for where they drive. You know, this is, so, so they, so they, their viewers would not be disoriented. That was the, the bottom line on that. Right, and last but not least, can you say a hello to someone here? Sure. Hello. Uh, to Anthony Owen. Portsmouth. Anthony Owen of Portsmouth. Who has no idea that you're going to Hello. say... Hello. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. Well, thanks very much for coming in. I hope oh, that's pleasure. actually cleared up quite a lot of the questions that uh, we've been asked uh, um, over the past few weeks, if not months. Um, just one thing, I've got to say that UFO changes nights next week, so no doubt the phones will start ringing about that. But I'm glad you were able to come in on a Thursday night. My pleasure. It's been most illuminating. Thanks very much. After the break, Transworld Sport.